Why are we so different from other terrestrial animals? According to the theory, it's because there was a time when early humans spent much of their lives in the sea. And the traits that make us so different from other land animals are a legacy from this period. We can control our breathing like marine mammals and hold our breath longer than any other land animal. The human record for breath holding is nearly 20 minutes. That's almost as long as a dolphin can dive. Compared to our closest relatives, the apes, we have a much more flexible spine. And we have partial webbing between our fingers and toes that they don't have. These are features for an aquatic environment. Why have them unless to help us swim? And human babies hold their breath underwater automatically. They instinctively know how to swim, whereas a baby chimp or gorilla would drown. And unlike other apes, we shed our hair. Hair creates dragon water. And we have a thick layer of insulating fat that keeps us warm in water. The only other animals born with as thick a fat layer are exclusively marine mammals. Some humans are so well adapted for life underwater that they still hunt at the bottom of the sea, walking across the ocean floor. The Moken people of Southeast Asia can contract their pupils at will to control for water distortion. They actually see underwater as clearly as if they were wearing a mask. And in some places in the world, humans are still so proficient in the water that they can catch fish without hooks or nets. All these adaptations for life in the water, but we lack adaptations that are commonplace in other land animals. We shed salty tears and sweat. Salt and water are valuable resources. Other land animals have efficient ways of conserving them. We don't, why? Because part of our evolution took place in the sea. Now, this is all theoretical, but the land to sea transition has happened before. It's documented science. Orcas have evolved from a wolf-like ancestor millions of years ago, and there are more recent examples. 150,000 years ago, a fractional amount of evolutionary time, a group of brown bears split from the rest of their line. They evolved into a new species. They became polar bears. Polar bears are capable of holding their breath for minutes at a time underwater. They've even developed webbing in their front paws to help them swim. They are currently, before our eyes, evolving into marine mammals. And if this is happening to polar bears now, why couldn't this have happened to the human line at some point in our evolution? 